And I'll tell you why. Because I'm sentimental. Everybody that's out there, Russ and I are going to go through our top five James Cameron films. We both maybe have different ones, same ones. We're not sure. We didn't discuss this ahead of time. We're going to be going through our fifth favorite all the way up to our first. We went and put that exact question to you all on our community page as well. I'm going to take a look at who, at the end of this, who everyone out there thought was number one. Mm -hmm. So we can let the audience decide who the winner is. Mm -hmm. Um, But as we're talking through, let us know what your top five is. Slam our... (laughs) <laughs> our choices if you want disagree agree have some friendly banter so far this is not blowing my skirt up gentlemen should we explain what our criteria is should we are we talking about pure enjoyment are we talking about from a technical aspect what like how are we mm-hmm. how are we attacking approaching this top five just so we're clear up front personally whenever i do this it, it ends up being a mixture of both mm-hmm. honestly and i think with someone it, it, someone like james cameron he's such a straightforward filmmaker Mm -hmm. there's not there's really little room for interpretation in his movies yeah they're very linear they're very point you know one plus one equals two you know i i feel like with him it almost lines up with what his best are with what the fans think (laughs) you know what i mean like there's no is there like a secret gem in james cameron's catalog that everyone I, yeah i don't is know like no that's the one if you're the real cameron fan i feel like we all kind of know what the what the best is and i feel but like and i feel like top five they're all great so it's not like number five is even bad by any means yeah. unless it's in your opinion the abyss well what, how are we gonna go how do you want to do this we start at five yeah we'll start at five i'll ask you what your fifth is and we'll throw it up on the screen and then i'll tell you what my fifth is and we can agree disagree or all right, so in the James Cameron pantheon, I'd have to put True Lies at number five. Okay, True um, Lies at number five. Stick it on down there for you, Russ. The only Cameron movies I have not seen are Avatar. I've never seen Avatar or Avatar Way of the Water. So there's a possibility they could be better than True Lies. I'm not banking on it. I've never heard anyone put Avatar. I've never once had anyone tell me Avatar is essential viewing outside of maybe if you get to see it in the theater in 3D as an experience. Mm-hmm. As a movie, there has never been one person in my life who has said, you but you got to watch. You didn't see that. Wow, you got to see that. Yeah. You know, nobody, even a casual fan, nobody. Like, so I'm guessing that it's lesser. Uh, outside of the experience outside of the technical achievements i'm guessing as a story as a film compared to his other works it feels lesser but that's without seeing it yeah i i would i agree with everything you just said like watching it in the theater in 3d in the biggest screen biggest you know audio possible it is a very immersive experience james cameron obviously excels in that kind of a world or sort of you know all that technical marvel that he can like master just like any like better than anyone so when you're going to a basically like an amusement park ride for three hours it's damn good but watching it on disney plus streaming or something it's it's i could take it or leave it basically so i agree that's not in my top five at all that is in the, my lower two mm-hmm. outside of the seven that were what would your number five be my number five russ and i'll tell you maybe this is a bit of a spoiler for our true lies review but true lies also didn't make my top five. Oh no all the true lies fans out there they're uh, i know and i don't want to they're hitting the bell right now to be notified for our video i know it's a lot of like i feel like it's not all hate we it's not no no there's a lot of things that i liked about true lies and i you know like i said i didn't want to go too much into that but for reasons unsaid at this moment it just doesn't get there for me and i don't know here let the let the let the hate flow titanic was more entertaining or in, even like on that technical aspect whatever you want to say like it's just a more i don't know overwhelming experience something that's a little bit more to take in than true lies was for me true lies very entertaining don't get me wrong all these movies are great but for some reason i feel like i would watch titanic more than i would go back to watch true lies we're gonna have to redo this <laughs> why i completely forgot about titanic and <laughs> what <laughs> you forgot about titanic i was thinking we're doing five movies i'm looking at six movies up there well Shit. seventh is avatar and that was my seventh i'm gonna say this real quick on a live stream <sighs> can we cut a little bit away can we edit no why what do you need to do we need some secret we clip are we gonna clip this one? Oh, i don't know what do you what do you mean 
Russ, we got to roll with it, baby. This is uh, live. We're sorry, we're redoing this. I yeah. See, we don't plan this. Is, this, this is natural. This real is natural. This is what There's live TV is all about. Uh, sorry, True Lies is not making my top five. Get that shit out of here. Whoa. For me, you're right. It's Titanic. Oh, look at I, that, man. This is a. Uh, I I completely forgot. Titanic is number five. I enjoy Titanic immensely over True Lies. This is this is this is a top five with a lot of twists and turns. And it is already, <laughs> and you guys can get mad at me all you want. I'll tell you one of the greatest joys of Titanic today, because we obviously on this channel we've been covering Cameron for some time. I remember editing, and I was kind of like skimming through Titanic. It is such a joy watching these two great actors in like their youth like we now have 30 some years of great leonardo dicaprio films great kate winslet films and it's such a joy watching this movie today seeing this youthful exuberance from them yeah and they click they're great together and honestly cameron you know he's more on the technical side mm -hmm. he's more on all that he needed a strong chemistry and he got it out of them it's a beautiful film to look at too don't, it is, don't, it, is. Yeah. it actually like i said sort of what you said to how the conan the barbarian world is big enough for arnold i think cameron finally found a subject in this that was uh worthy of his immense like scrutiny and dedication you know what don't worry about it he wisely chose to do just a classic, almost golden age type love story film that's basic so that he could indulge in all of his, yeah. oh, here's the water flooding, you know, that's like a staple of his and everything. Like yeah. He could do what he does and let the heavy lifting, leave that to the actors. You unimaginable bastard. I, I'd put it above True Lies, number all right. five. Number five, Titanic. Sorry about that mishap. That's all right. How many people disagree with that? Um, <laughs> maybe a lot. Maybe a little. What would your uh, fourth place James Cameron pick be then, Russ? Um, fourth, and again, maybe a spoiler for a future video, so I won't go too deep. But fourth, I would put The Abyss. Okay. I would put The Abyss as number four. Um, I technically enjoy Titanic a little more. Okay. Okay. But I think The Abyss, I'm more impressed. First off, the the year it came out, I'm impressed with everything it's done, uh, everything that it achieves. I'm also impressed. I, I feel like he was kind of going for something deeper, pun intended, um, almost 2001-ish. Uh, yeah, okay. Maybe, no, you're not, actually, you know, it's a good Close Encounters-ish. Okay, um, and I thought that was interesting to see Cameron do that. But again, he's just more immersed in the subject matter of being underwater. Yeah, to that. yeah, exactly. It's he like, loves just that. Give me, just give me a fucking plot so I can be down here. <laughs> I want to you know, live underwater really, for a year. Yes, that's How do I get there? Oh, okay. Nah, dude, it's one of those deals where for the type of film it is, what it is, I mean, he's just he'll knock he'll hit a home run every time mm -hmm. this is just it's like throwing him a softball this is what cameron does and he exceeds that so abyss number abyss four. number four my number four russ also the abyss wow we are like we are on the money i feel like we're gonna we're gonna break I, apart in the third second and first I, I think we're gonna break apart yes i have a feeling but i looking at you know what's left essentially if i get you know true lies the the hell out of here you know if we just move him on out of here um looking at what's left I mean, looking at my enjoyment of Terminator, Terminator 2, and Aliens Against the Abyss, I absolutely love The Abyss, and I'm one of these people that have been waiting for The Abyss, but kind of like you mentioned, it's sort of this, like, like boogeyman of a title I, that people have been clamoring for for yeah. so long. That's a big reason for it, not to say that it's, I enjoy it, you know, like, much less or anything else. It's an awesome movie, but I feel like this is the place that it probably lives in my hard amongst these last uh, few yeah yeah and like i said i don't want to get too deep in my thoughts pun intended again uh, i'm going to save it for our review no! i think Probably. some of these last ones are going to be more nostalgia driven for me even though all of them have merit i think a lot of the f but where i'm coming from is probably going to be more of a nostalgic period anyway except for titanic because i just saw that for the first time like yeah not that long ago yeah yeah um I'm sure it does for me as well because I know my number one pick. I've probably seen that one the most. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, I've definitely seen it the most, actually. All right, Russell, hit me with your number three, my James no, Cameron. This is where we'll probably differ. Maybe not. Okay. Uh, Terminator Two is number three. Okay. Um, 
I'm on record. I have issues with this movie. Okay. Okay. You are on record for that. I, I do. I have issues with this movie. Um, I don't like the direction it went in. Mm-hmm. I don't like to me, this film does what a lot of other sequels do and get a lot of heat for is that he basically remade the original Terminator and made it a family friendly film. He literally turned the Terminator into a hop on one foot. You can't kill anything. Big buddy, iron giant, robot, friend, you know. And personally, I just didn't like that direction. That being said, even though I disagree with that idea, the execution of that idea is flawless. Yes! When I was 10 or whatever, when this came out, it hit me just like it hit everyone, you know, Mm -hmm. our age. Um, do you it wish it works? I just wish, and the older I get, I see it clearer and it bugs me. Mm-hmm. It just, it bugs me as I get older, as I watch this movie, I'm like, it's, it's, I just don't feel like, I don't know, man. I, like I said, I think it's just more of the idea. I would have wanted to see more, more grit, like the original, more horror, mm-hmm. maybe more of a focus on judgment day itself rather than, like I said, it was. It, like Return of the Living Dead uh, 2 was more family friendly. RoboCop 2 was more family friendly. You know, most of the time when this happens, it sucks. Cameron's so good, he made it work, but I still just don't agree with the direction. Chill out, dickwad. But like I said, I can't complain about it because it is executed flawlessly. Flawless victory. Even, <clears throat> even the thumbs up thing, which I, the older I get, I cringe more and more over. It works, though. Like, I got it works. I mean, shit. Okay. Lindsay, the producer, what's the temperature out there? Lindsay, talk to him. Um, a lot of people are sharing their <laughs> rankings, and it looks like um, Aliens, T1, and T2, they're all in the top three, but in different positions yeah. um, for the most part. Um, and it was funny, as you were saying that, Russ, about it being like a watered-down, family-friendly version, um, one of the, our chat participants, David Garsofsky, he said um, it's basically like a an ET MTV version of Terminator One. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But feelings are mutual. I'll say, you could be mine. Is a great fucking dude, song. No, we're gonna throw MTV into this cover. I don't even uh, like Guns and Roses, but like that song is so fire. You could be mine is a bad <laughs> song. Oh my god, Holy shit, dude, it's like <laughs> by their best song. I give it all the credit it deserves, but I also just, I don't know. You got to admit for people watching, if this happened in any other franchise, if Predator 2 had a kid walking around being friends with the fucking alien, like we would all be bitching. But for some reason, Terminator 2, we all just collectively was like, yeah. No. I would say one, if James Cameron directed Predator 2. <laughs> It'd work. <laughs> And and two, if they introduced a equally badass villain to be like an opponent, then yes. it would work. Big I'm, Robert Patrick is a big reason it, it works. All dude, yeah. the whole cast. Yeah, on, I'd oh, go yeah. to I'd go so far as say maybe Arnold's the weakest one in Terminator Two. Dude, Linda Hamilton's kicking fucking she ass is, in this movie. She is awesome. She understood movie. the assignment. Yeah, Edward Furlong's good in it. He I've is. never had a problem with Edward Furlong in this movie mm-hmm. either. The only thing I really had a problem with, well, the most is um his friend's mullet oh shit the redhead mullet that shit's ugly man it is that cameron should have cgi uh, that thing fucking out L- george lucas did let's get dnr that. that let's get, yeah, <laughs> give him just, just like smudge it so it looks a little less yeah, intense yeah. it's like michael mann came in and directed for a day <laughs> we need a mullet <laughs> Dude, I think I know I, right now, just in this moment, I know exactly where this is going to go. Like the rest of this tier list. You know I, I know, I know, because, and you'll know where it's going to go the minute I put my third one in there, too. Like as soon as I drop my third one in there, you're going to know where it's going to go, and I'm going to know where it's going to go. Um, so I, I, and it's weird. Like I don't want to spoil like the rest of this conversation, but basically everything that you said about Terminator 2, about the direction that it went in, I never felt slighted by the direction that it went in in any way but i think the direction that it did go in 
really did appeal to me for a lot of reasons more so than it did to you and that's probably no, no, why i enjoy it, it maybe a little bit it completely more completely appealed to yeah. me i was 10 years old yeah just I, in terms it of completely appealed to me it has nothing, that's what i'm saying it worked i it's just well that's why i'm just gonna put this one here you're a dick <laughs> you are a dick and that's why and that's why you i was i was trying <laughs> I was trying to lead into that by saying Terminator is, dude, all of these movies are great. They're all great. When it comes to my enjoyment level, the things I personally like about movies, the things that, you know, whatever, term, like Terminator is awesome, but as we get further up, the other two have more for me than the Terminator does. I feel like I'm going to throw up. You know, it's funny. You were talking about nostalgia playing a big part. I think a lot of people in our generation uh, saw Terminator 2 first. I cannot I, I, remember. I tend I, I, just it's like it's likely, but I can't remember. Anecdotally, I've kind of gathered that over the years when I talk about this because I've had this opinion for a very long time. I had the original Terminator before Terminator 2 came out as a kid. Mm -hmm. Like I had the VHS, I watched it a lot. It scared the shit out of me. Like, and that's probably. That's my nostalgia maybe playing in, like what you mentioned. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I didn't see Terminator 2, and that was like my introduction to all this stuff. I was already watching the first one yeah. know, as a kid. So I have an equal amount of nostalgia for the original that I do T2. Yeah. So I can kind of judge them equally a little more, I think. And if I saw the second one first and loved it, then could go back and watch the first one and appreciate how awesome the first one was, then I end up liking both. But because you watched yeah. it in the reverse, you're... You messed up on Terminator 2. Hey, I think this guy's a couple cans short of a six pack. I didn't mess up, dude. Trust me. When I was 10 years no, old, I Terminator I 2, I would have given it probably a five and, out of five when I was 10 years old. You know? And Terminator, ter I think it does play a part of what I watched more, what I had access to. Like the Terminator 2 was so huge. You could find that anywhere, VHS, like whatever. Terminator, I feel like I didn't, I don't know that I like where would you watch that like television like hbo like a cable channel yeah like, i don't think i ever had that in the house i you know it's really funny because it's an interesting thing i think what happened with me was that probably one of my earliest i was born in 1982 so probably some of my earliest experiences with schwarzenegger would have been like twins yeah kindergarten cop and i remember i think just i was at a store like a fucking kmart or something one day and because i liked twins and all that i saw that cover saw arnold schwarzenegger and my mom bought it for me yeah yeah. And that's how I started watching it. This is great stuff. I could make a career out of this guy. You see how clever this part is? How it doesn't require a shred of proof? So, yeah, it was a little earlier on. Maybe that's why. I don't know. Still, no, 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 no. You're still a dick. As an adult <laughs> watching both these movies, Terminator 1 is far superior. That's the one caveat I will give. I have seen Terminator 2 probably much more and more recent than t the original Terminator go dude Re and, revisit the original terminator and i already know it's more mature in that way it's that you're saying that. like in terms it, of the the approach or the material it's not like it's ruthless it's not yeah it's not and family friendly yeah. like i guess that's what i mean it's it, it's it's about a terminator and it must be destroyed also dude i don't care as a kid the fucking scene in the you know when he first gets back in time he's just going through the phone book yeah for sarah connor's man when he knocks on that door Oh, it's intense. <laughs> Are you Sarah Connor? Like, he just fucking kicks it open. Like, the latch breaks off. And she's like, ah! Well, on the ground. He's just aiming to go around. Bang. Ruthless as fuck, dude. And he shot it. It's a horror movie, man. Mm -hmm. When he goes into the police station, and it's just a fucking bloodbath towards the end. He just kills every motherfucker in there. Even the end, it's it's relentless, dude. When the when his skin melts off, yeah, just go throw it at one. I was right gonna now. say you already fucking <laughs> just know. Put it up you, for you already know. I'm gonna stick when it his, there, <laughs> dude. When his skin melts off at the end of it, and then the fucking sky, it still keeps going after him. It's like Jesus Christ. It doesn't let up. You don't feel nothing like that in Terminator Two. As great as Robert Patrick is, I. Terminator 2 feels more like, um, and I'm sorry, I forget the commenter's name, MTV, Spectacle, Hollywood, and that's not bad inherently. It's just, wow, compared to the OG Terminator, it's shit. Okay, well, I want to give my thoughts, at least a rebuttal, but before I do that, can we just say on the count of three what our number two is? One, two, three, aliens. Piranha. <laughs> yeah, aliens. 
Yeah, so Aliens is, is my number two, and then Terminator 2 is was was my number one. And this is after deep consideration, and what I'm going to say to you is, everything you said about the Terminator, I'm not going to disagree at all. Everything about what you just said, it's incredible, it's amazing, it's ruthless, it's brutal. But I personally, and maybe it is because I saw Terminator 2 first, it's not a matter of, I guess... I can enjoy both things. Like I can look at this more family friendly, you know, version that I grew up on. And maybe that's why I have that nostalgia. And I can look at this other one as like a movie that I wouldn't watch with my son right now. You know, it'd be like, holy shit, this thing is like too intense. I love both of those vibes. And it's, I guess it's just a matter of the spectacle that, you know, you spoke about in Terminator well, 2 that Cam well, Cameron. Also, uh, I watched it as a kid. You must be pretty disappointed. I think it works for kids too. And I think it works for kids better because it's more as a kid, when I watched it, it felt more like, wow, like, holy shit. Whereas Terminator two, even as a kid, I kind of recognized this is a kid's movie. How did you feel during that three minute sex scene when they're what, making Kyle Reese? when they're making John Connor? I jacked off. It goes on for too long. <laughs> they really spent some time on that scene. As a kid, I was kind of like, eh. but it's symbolic. It's part of the plot. It is. He's it's cre very creating symbolic. John Connor. They're cre they needed to go hard. And you know, Cameron, he's not going to let up. He's going to let you Don't know let what linger. the hell's going on in this plot. Don't let it linger. He's like, this isn't just a sex scene. Listen, John Connor's being made. Your son, Sarah. Your unborn son. Give it its due. Um, and I was, being a young kid, when I was piecing together, to, it, it blew my mind. I was like, whoa. So the human who went back to protect him was actually the father. And, as I, like a yeah. little kid, I thought this was like the most mind-blowing shit in the world. The twist He's ending. a genius. Yeah. <laughs> no. And then I, years later, it's like, oh, damn, he ripped off a Twilight Zone episode. Nice. Well, what's everyone else? What's uh, who's? I'm assuming I'm getting roasted probably. I don't know. Am I? Is uh, everyone sort of like split? You, you might have gotten dragged for a minute. But I got dragged. I think it's a, a chat that's very divided. A divided um, chat. Let me look and see what they said. <laughs> and that's the great thing about Cameron there. There are no real wrong answers once you get to the top three, I think. Great. No. There really aren't. Even my gripes with Terminator 2. Like, I fully accept it's a great film. I uh, fully accept it. I'm not if you if I had to watch Terminator 2 right now I wouldn't be pissed off or no anything. I will buy all of them I will get every you know it's like I'm sad that Terminator 2 got the do that it did on physical media but I don't know it's it's just a movie I guess that I can't get past my feelings for back then and how amazing and incredible and everything that it was and not that the Terminator isn't but I don't think even as a kid if I did see it and I know I saw it young I don't know if I, I looked at I almost probably in my childlike mind looked at it like wow this is like an upgrade yeah. to this movie oh, of course you know of course. and and now I understand that that's it, not I mean production value maybe yeah, but not course. like in it any was, other dude, way the original Terminator is low budget yeah very low budget low budget you know and then he's playing in the biggest world imaginable I'd also really quick want to point out another uh, another point on my favor yep the score is better in the original better than mortal man deserves <laughs> the music's better oh the Brad Fidel score it sounds more synth 80s and all that it fits the vibe more it, it sounds way better than the updated one in, in T2 here's the poll Russ you ready to hear what the people said the people that voted I'm a man of the people online they gave number one aliens fair number two Terminator 2 number fair. three Terminator Number four, The Abyss. Number five, True Lies. I didn't throw Titanic in there. I just put these in there. But that's what the people said. Well, that's great. That's just fucking great, man. I don't know. What what, what was being said about me, Lindsay? What kind of comments? So How was I being dragged? I think you might have lost a couple subscribers. Oh, I'm sorry, <laughs> no. guys. Okay. No, I well, think it's, it's all jokes. It's all, all all with love, I think. We have um, subs to spare. Don't worry. About I know. Well, this is... Someone did ask if you could get kicked off and replaced with somebody else. <laughs> um... No, I think I think um, what you're saying, though, Russ, um, about seeing two T2 first, a lot of people did echo that, that they saw it yeah. first, and that was their favorite growing up. Some people said that now, as an adult, they appreciate T1 more than T2. Um, but yeah, it's the chat, the chat if is I, live. If it's I get, of, when I get the terms, you're saying, and that's what you're saying, and I, and I agree, and I feel the same way. I was blown away by T2 as well. Don't get me wrong. It's just that, yeah, as I've gotten older and you kind of remove that childhood bias that nostalgia and i'm watching both movies 
like wow one is just superior what's wrong with your eyes i don't know i'm open i'm open to but this i feel like will still stay where it's at maybe aliens will bump down i don't know but i feel like terminator 2 stuck so that's I mean, our that's our top five <laughs> it's over we, yeah, we, we really didn't say shit about aliens did we i know we skipped right over it it's an incredible movie too it's it's like i'll say this one of the best action uh, sci-fi movies of all time we'll, we'll eventually review aliens but we I, will. I will say this aliens at number two speaks volumes of why the abyss is at number four because i think that ragtag group element of mm -hmm. both of those movies yeah works way better in aliens than it does in the abyss there's just way more chemistry in that cast you know maybe the maybe lacking bill paxton mm -hmm. was the problem with me with the abyss i don't know bill paxton but should have been in the abyss that's his wild card dude even true I'll, the bill paxton stuff in true lies is number two in his best films of all time wow